We are the anti -fa. You know, one of my favorite things to talk about is pop culture, especially comics, particularly diversity in comics. Now, some progressives out there want new diverse superheroes, but I've always figured why bother when we can just steal Spider-Man and make him biracial, give Thor a sex change and make her punch bad guys for using feminist like it's a four letter word. But I've been thinking, there's still one super oppressed group that Marvel and DC Comics ignore, and that's me, Antifa. But not for long. My buddy Mark Bray, a history professor at Dartmouth, is writing the intro for this badass new Antifa comic book. Yeah, dude, look at this totally awesome cover art. Do you know how much courage it takes to isolate and swarm our enemies in surprise attacks and run away at, right at the small sign of resistance? I mean, black outfit, vigilante justice, I'm the modern day Batman and I deserve to be treated as such. I just really hope Mark Bray donates half of the revenue he makes from this comic book to Antifa, like he did with the anti-fascist handbook last year. I mean, Allah knows I could use it. My indigenous studies degree isn't much help landing a job. Anyway, the book will be coming out in September, and I want to point you to one part of its Amazon description. Fascism's poisonous roots have taken hold in every region of the world. From its beginnings in post-World War I Italy, through Nazi Germany, Stalin's Soviet Union, Franco's Spain, and the KKK in America. That's right! Both Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union were fascist! And when you hear that, you should think right wing. Not communism, not national socialism, right wing. Like feminist author Grace Lee Boggs said, history is not the past. It is the stories we tell about the past. And in my story, when I don't like something, I've learned it's best to say Nazi or far right until it's dealt with by college administrators or Uncle George. So yeah, I'll be buying this Antifa comic book with a slick $18 from my welfare check. Take that, America! And you should too, to support Bray and the main author and artist Gord Hill, who goes by the nickname Zigzag in our anti-capitalist movement. Don't worry that Bray can't even define fascism and hesitates to confine it to an abstract analytical definition. The end justifies the means, so get out there, grab a bat, and start slugging away and burning things like the superhero you are. Just make sure you say tolerance, diversity, or something right beforehand. For Eastside Antifa, this is Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.